So there's this bridge in Germany called the Magdeburg Water Bridge. And it's a really interesting bridge. So what it is, is there's a canal that they wanted boats to be able to cross, but not go through that canal. They wanted another canal to go over it. And so what they did is they built a bridge above one canal over the other, so one canal was crossing it. And so the question I have for you is when the engineers had to design for the weight of the bridge, how many boats did they have to design for? Because boats are pretty heavy, they can carry a lot of material. You could have a hundred ton, a thousand ton boat come by. How do you design your bridge? Or does it even matter? So in order to answer this, I built my own water bridge. And I want to measure if we even need to design for the weight of boats going across it. It's a really interesting question. When you have a water bridge, do you need to design for the weight of the boats that cross it? I'm going to answer that question right now. Okay, this is my water bridge. So, in the center here is my bridge. Here's the water up here. You'll notice that at this part, there's a cutout section that does not have any support. It's completely supported by this scale here. So first I'll show you that this scale does indeed work. It's down here at around 210 grams. If I put a weight on it, it does indeed increase. You can see right there, it went up to around 275 grams. So what would happen if we put our weight in a boat crossing the bridge? Let's see. So here, here comes our boat floating across and let's see if we can see the weight increase. Nope, doesn't even move. So you can see it's right on top of it and it does not increase the weight that this bridge actually has to support. This is really cool actually. So when you design a water bridge, it doesn't matter how many boats go over it, it doesn't increase the weight that the bridge actually has to support. But if it were a car bridge or normal bridges, the bridge of course has to support the weight that goes on it. So why does this happen? Why when you place a weight in the water, it increases the weight that the bridge has to bear? But, if you place that same weight on the bridge, it does not increase the weight when it's in a boat. In order to answer this, we need to learn a little bit about buoyancy. Okay, in order to show you what I mean, first I want to weigh our weight in our boat and see how much that weighs. So we get around 410 grams, okay? Then I'm going to put our boat in our water and what should happen is it should displace the equivalent weight of water as the boat with this weight. So that means it should displace around 410 grams of water. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place our boat with our weight in the water and what should happen is it should displace around 410 grams of water which is the weight of the boat. So I'm going to try to contain the water as I displace it. I'm doing it slowly so I get all of it that comes out. Okay, that should be all of my water now. Now I'm going to weigh this water that I displaced. I'm gonna do it all in one shot here. So there's no camera trickery. Pour this water into here. This 
That should weigh around 410 grams. Let's see what we got. So that is about 400 grams. Pretty darn close. That means we lost around 10 grams of water stuck to the bottom of the pan and in our glass pan here. So now back to our boat experiment. Where does the displaced water go in our boat experiment? The water gets displaced and placed evenly throughout the entire length of your waterway. So across the whole river, it raises the amount of water in the river ever so slightly. So the only amount of weight that this feels when you place a boat in it is a very minuscule amount of water raising very slightly, just a negligible amount. So when you build a water bridge, you actually only have to design for the small amount of water that it needs to hold on top. Other than that, you could put any amount of weight on a boat that could go across it that you want. It won't have to bear any load on this bridge below other than the water. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and enjoyed my video. If you enjoyed it, remember to like it, share it, comment it. I would love some comments about any science questions you have. I want to do a Q&A sometime, so I need some questions first in order to do a Q&A. So ask me any science question you have, and I'll do my best to answer it. Thanks. Bye. Oh no. Take it.